Hi there, and welcome to Live Your Life by the Numbers. Today on this episode, we're going to be teaching you all about the seven life path number. And as I've mentioned to you before in other shows, the life path number is arrived at by adding your month and day and year of birth together, and then reducing it to a single digit. Now, what do we mean by the life path number? And why is it the number one number that is the most important number for you to learn how to compute and to learn what it means? And that is because the life path number is the number vibration that you decide for yourself to bring into this incarnation that will bring you the greatest success. Now, whether you believe in reincarnation or you don't believe in reincarnation, it means the same thing. If you add your month, day, and year of birth together and reduce it to a single digit or a master number, you will arrive at the style of living, the road to success, the path to success that you must take. Now, numerology is based on the vibration of numbers, the study of numbers. And really what it means is that the universe is vibrating. And we know that because scientists tell us that everything around us and everything in our lives vibrates. So everything is there vibrating and you decide to be born. And before you decide to be born, you yourself, your soul, decides that you are going to be one of the nine numbers we study in numerology or their master numbers, which are higher levels of those nine numbers. So here you are, you're born on a month and day of birth. And when you're born, those three numbers add up to a master, either a master number or the numbers one through nine. And today we're going to be speaking about the number seven, all about the number seven. And that's the way that you must live in order to be successful. Now in numerology, the study of the numbers itself and their meanings is not difficult. It's not very hard the way astrology is where you have to know this and that, and you have to be able to plot and, and figure out and sometimes even read an ephemeris. Numerology or merely adding some numbers together or subtracting some numbers together and you will find yourself predicting for yourself, especially if you watch this show. So let's do a deep dive now. Let's go right into those, the seven life path number right now. And let's see what the seven life path is all about. Now, in former shows, I told you that the one life path says, I rock, I'm the leader, follow me. It's all about me. And it's because without the number ones, we get nothing started in life. They're the starters in life. But unlike the other numbers, the number one doesn't like to finish things. So it hands off to other numbers, twos, threes, fours. The number two is the number of the peacemaker, the one that brings cooperation into our lives, works very well with people. The number three is the joy giver. Has Jupiter prominently placed somewhere in its astrological chart as well as Sag and Libra. The number four is the builder, the workaholic, the one who says, I organize, I'm here. I'm here to build a foundation under things, the four corners of the rectangle or the square. The number five, there be no promotion and no forward movement in humanity without the number five life path people. The number six are the people that carry heavy responsibility. They are the givers of love 
and respect. They are the voice um, of important places in politics and many of our artists. They give love. They have, they take care of people also. Very prominent, uh, prominent vibration in the number six. The number seven we're up to now says, I analyze. The number seven analyzes everything. And we're going to take now into a deeper dive into the number seven. And we'll see that it's an odd number. The one, the three, the five, the seven, and the nine. These are odd numbers. It's an introvert. What do I mean by introvert? Well, it can exist very nicely by itself. Doesn't have to live with anybody else to be happy in life. It's ruled by Neptune. It's good aspects, the good aspects of Neptune. It could also be part of the foggy um, aspects of Neptune. You know, Neptune has that mist that goes across and we sometimes don't see things clearly when we're going through a Neptune transit. But if you stick with something long enough and you dig deep, the seven is a very heavy digger for research, knowledge, the truth in life. Um, it's also, you will find the number Scorpio because the Scorpio is a very, a very deep digger into what is the basic foundation of the truth of anything. So it's got a lot of Scorpio. It's got a lot of Aquarius in it as well. Aquarians do not have to live in a crowd. They can live in their head. And the seven, you know, like the rocket scientist lives in his head. The seven has a wealth of gifts that make it invaluable in our society. We find many, many sevens in the CIA, the FBI, the alcohol, tobacco, and firearms, in Russia, in the KGB. They are researchers, they are specialists. And if you say that something is red or green or blue, they will not believe you. They must discover that it's red, green, or blue for itself. So they do not take things and believe things on face value. They are our master technicians, our master detectives. They invent, many inventors have the number seven in them. They discover things that others can't, can't see. They see things on that very, very original lowest level that we miss in our daily lives. They're very keen, quick, observant people high intelligence, charming usually, and dignified. The number sevens are not chatty at all. If you want to speak to a number seven, you have to speak to a number seven about something that is intelligent in nature, that they can, they feel worthy of a response. They are not idle chatterers. They often, some number sevens, like some Scorpios, don't like crowds. So you'll find that they like to be alone a lot. They love their solitude. They're calm in nature. They're serene. They're very metaphysical. Some of them extremely spiritual and metaphysical. And that's because they are controlled by two metaphysical letters in the alphabet, which is the Y and the P. They are great investigators, as I mentioned to you. They're the specialists in every field and they certainly enjoy their own company. On a negative level, they can be shrewd, prideful, vengeful. Their inner motives, motives are not humanitarian in nature. They are selfish and usually for greed or control or for power. Um, they can be very sarcastic. They have, a, you know, that sharp tongue of a Scorpio, get a Scorpio angry, and that's it. They bite, the venom comes out. 
or they can use the other aspect of life, not speak to you at all um, as a weapon. They can be argumentative. Their emotions can be repressed, highly suspicious. As I said, when you say this is blue, they don't believe in it and they want to know why you believe it's blue and how come it's not that color blue and what's wrong with you. It's not a blue day, blah, 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 blah. They can be cynical at times, miserly, lack generosity, but on a good point, the number seven possesses many, many um, aspects of inner knowledge of the divine creation. I guess there's a reason why when a person gambles, they're, they're hoping for sevens and elevens as lucky numbers because there is a great deal of spirituality, believe it or not, attached to the master number 11, which we have already shown you in another show and the number seven. So you're asking when you're shooting for 11s and sevens, you're asking for the divine to please make me a winner. As I mentioned, they're able to visualize and dream and create on an unseen level where other people need to see it first. They see it in their heads. So they're able to realize things using their unseen powers. They're mystical, they're lucky, they have the lucky law of attraction, which they are able to pull in and to focus in order to, to accomplish on a very large level. They are wise, seven vibrates to the wise old man. It represents on a spiritual level, our inner soul, it, res it really resides outside the ordinary. So the seven, we can actually say, walks and exists in its life to a different drumbeat than everybody else. It lives internally more and produces on an external level. It is their great appraisers in every field whether it's furniture, whether it's scientific appraising something, whether it's real estate, they are the nitpickers that get right down to the nitty gritty and can tell you really the value of something. They are very heavy thinkers. They link the known world with the unknown world because of the deep dives that they do. As I mentioned, they're able to find and discover the hidden aspects of life. They are our doctors, but our specialists. They are our lawyers, but our specialists. They are technical, technically oriented of every nature. So for example, if they're a doctor, they would be a brain surgeon. They would be a certain kind of hip surgeon. If they were an attorney, they would be a special, in a specialized area. And as most of you know, I don't give readings because my avocation is what I'm teaching you right now. My avocation for over 50 years has been the study of numbers, but my, my vocation, my vocation is highly specialized. I'm a trust and estates litigator. So there you go. And yes, I have a number seven prominently placed, which I'll show you someday. So let's go to one of my favorite number sevens to teach people, Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin, okay? And Putin was born on the seventh day of October. So his birthday is October 7th, 1952. And as I mentioned earlier, in order to compute your life path number, we add the month, day, and year of birth. So in, the, in order to compute Vladimir Putin's life path number, we add the number 10 plus the number seven plus the number 1952, just as we would 
in second or third grade, and we come to a total of 1969. Then we add the numbers across, one plus nine plus six plus nine equals 25, which is a double digit number. And then if we reduce that double digit to a single number, what do we get? We get that Putin's life path number is a seven and his birthday is a seven. Now the birthday number holds a great deal of sway between the ages of 27 and 54. So that birthday, he's going to be between those years of 27 and 54, he's going to be highly influenced by the number seven. Now we can also add and come out with the seven another way by adding the 10 plus the seven plus 17. And we would come to 17 plus 17 equals 34 and three plus four equals seven. Now, the, now again, he would still be a 34 seven with a seven birthday. As a 25 seven, 25 is not an easy number to carry in the beginning of your life. Nothing is given to you and you learn everything the hard way by doing. The 34 on the other hand equates to advancement in one's career, respect and dependability which I'm sure he achieved at some point before he became the aggressive person the world knows him today in evading the Ukraine, not once, but twice. So here we see that Putin has a seven life path and a seven birthday. And if we study those characters, uh, characterizations that I mentioned to you, those those um, descriptions that the number seven carries and the symbols that the number seven carry, you will see that Vladimir Putin clearly, clearly um, fits the description of the seven life path number and the seven birthday number and all of its negative descriptions. Now, as I've also told you in other shows, the letters of our alphabet also vibrate to one of the numbers that we use one through nine in numerology and the master numbers. And the number one vibration is covered by the A, J and the S vibration. The number two vibration is covered by the letters of the alphabet, B, K, and T. And note now that the letter K is the 11th number in the alphabet, and it is a master letter. The vibrations of the three are covered by the alphabet in the letters C, L, and U. The four vibration is included in the letters D, M, and V. And here too, the letter V is the 22nd letter of the alphabet, which is carries master qualities to it and is a very spiritual um, letter in the alphabet. The five vibration is carried by the letters E, N, and W. The six vibration is carried by the letters F, O, and X. The seven vibration is carried by the letters G, P, as in Putin, and Y. The eight vibration is carried by the letters H, Q, and Z. And the nine vibration in the letters of the alphabet is covered by the letters I and R. Now, each letter in someone's name, and in this case, we're going to look just at Vladimir Putin. Their name is made up of consonants, which are 
the letters that are not vowels and vowels. In numerology, the numeric vibration of any number that is a vowel, we put the number vibration on top of the name, on top of the letters that it represents. And we put the, the consonants, the numeric vibration of the consonants below the letter in the name. Now, why do we do that? Because the vowels, when we add up the vowels separately in each of our names, whether it be a first, a middle, and a last name, or just a first and a last name, that shows who we are in our soul, all the talents that we're born with already when we're born, and what our soul urges to do in this life path. It's really who we are, okay? The consonants, however, the consonants are really almost like a ruse. The consonants are how we appear to others. So the real Sylvia would be in the vowels in my name, what my soul urges to do, and what the, what the outside world sees as the real Sylvia Di Pietro would be seen in the consonants of my name. Now, when we add the vowels, our soul urge, to our consonants, which we call our quies quiescent self, we get the expression, which is really the full combination of our vowels and our consonants equal the expression out there. And that is the way we must live in our name for us to, for any particular person to be successful. So now we're gonna do a deep dive into Vladimir Putin's soul urge, which is the vowels, the addition of the vowels of each one of his names. And then we're going to do an analysis of the consonants or the quiescent self of each one of the names of Vladimir Putin in order to come to the total expression of who Vladimir Putin is. So when we add the vowels of Vladimir Putin's first name, Vladimir, we get the A in Vladimir, the I in Vladimir, and the I in Vladimir. And if we add their numeric vibration, we come to the karmic number 19, the dominating bully, the powerful number of someone that it's his way or the highway. The karmic number 19 is a number of a vibration, meaning that in a past life, you took something that didn't belong to you. And in this life, you may experience people taking things from you that don't belong to you, okay? So it's something that you're coming in with sort of like a bad habit that you've got to get rid of and work on in this life. So we know in the name Vladimir, it's a very powerful uh, number that computes one plus nine down to a one. So we know in his soul, he wants to be number one. He wants to be the ruler. He wants to be the person that rocks. When we look at the consonants in Vladimir, the V taking the four vibration, the L taking the three, the D and the M taking a four vibration. The D is the fourth letter of the alphabet. The M is the 13th letter of the alphabet. And the R, when we add these numbers together, we get 24. So to the outside world, based on his consonants or his quiescent self, Vladimir Putin appears to be somebody that basically wants to take care of people, wants to be more loving in nature, 
wants to be an authority or have a voice to say, but that's not really what he really is, is number one, the, the 19 one in Vladimir. And when we add the whole name Vladimir together, what does he vibrate? What you see is what you get. His first name is a seven, a 43 seven. Vladimir Putin, his name Vladimir vibrates to his life path number and also vibrates to his birthday. Now let's go to Vladimirovich, which is a very long name. And you will see that Vladimirovich, when we put the vowels on top of his name and we see who his soul urge is, he definitely is an individual born with the 34-7 soul urge in the name Vladimirovich. He is an individual that you can depend upon. He is an individual born in his soul already with the ability to advance rapidly, even though we know he wasn't born into an elite family. He was born into a very, very normal family, not higher up, not higher up connected to the KGB. He did get a law degree though. Um, in Russia, but he wasn't born to a higher station in life. But in his soul, from a former life, he's born in this life with the ability to be uh, dependable, to advance. However, he's also born with the destructive tendency of being argumentative and wanting to destroy that which is around him. And we know, as I said before, that the number 34, I said earlier, the number 34 equates to advancement, career, respect, dependability, which are all those things I'm sure many people in Russia look to their leader as having. But on the negative level, he is, he is a bully. He is argumentative and he is an aggressive fighter. Now let's look at Putin. His soul urge is a convivial. It's a number three. And his consonants in Putin uh, vibrate to the number 14, which is a karmic number of a, mis, a past life misuse of personal freedoms drinking, drugs, food, alcohol, sex. But when we add his numbers together, 12 plus 24, what do we get? We get the numbers 26, which appears to be a more convivial number. Now, when we add his soul urge together, the consonants of all three names, Vladimir, Vladimirovich, Putin, we're adding 19 plus 32 plus three. And what do we get? A master number. So he is highly intuitive, natively, just by the vowels of his name. If we add together, the vowels in his name, 24, 39, and 14, we total 77, which is reduced, which reduces to the karmic number 14. So what he appears to others to be is a karmic 14, which could be past life, misuse of sex, drugs drinking, food, that number is someone that appears to be someone that abuses things in nature. Now, one of the things we know is that when it comes to health, he's a germaphobic. So we know he's turned in another direction. And very often people fear that which they project to others. So if he is projected as someone who poisons people, he would be fearful of someone poisoning him. 
And I'm sure that the distance of the seven, because if we add 11 plus 14, what do we get in his name as an expression? Again, Vladimir Putin is a 25 expression, which means in order for him to be successful, he has to live exactly like his life path number and exactly like his birthday number, more of a loner. And we can see that he really is somewhat of a loner. You can't, you know, you're, you, if you have a meeting with him, you know, you're 15, 25 feet away from him. I mentioned the expression is the way we must learn to live in order to be successful. And Vladimir Putin is a seven expression, seven birthday, seven life path number, with the number seven existing very prominently in his name as well, that seven vibration in a number of areas. So that is the deep dive into the number seven. I've gone a little further on the number seven to analyze his name for you, to show you where and how the sevens show up and how the seven can actually describe an individual, both on a positive level and, and a negative level, almost right down to its origin. Now, if you like the show and you'd like to see more of it, and you'd like me to basically analyze other people's names for you in the study of numerology or their life path, path numbers, please like and subscribe. <laughs> Send me a note. Let me know that you enjoyed the show and what kind of shows you're looking forward to. And I'll, it's my pleasure to put some of those shows on if I haven't already. As I've mentioned, I am not doing readings. If someone tells you that Sylvia DiPietro from Live Your Life by the Numbers just gave you a reading, don't believe it. Because numerology, as I mentioned, is my avocation and my gift to you with this channel, but my vocation and how I live my life during the day is as a trust and estate, estates litigator, actually an elder law litigator too, and mental hygiene litigator. And so that's the way I live my life. I, I really appreciate you coming. And remember that today is a more is most valuable. It's more precious than you than you would believe. So make the best of each day that we have. Live in gratitude. I live in gratitude every single day. If you'd like to know more about numerology, I have four books up there on the internet. They're sold on Amazon. Volume one and volume two of Live Your Life by the Numbers, your guide to numerology. Another book, which I absolutely enjoyed writing the most, it's Raise Your Kids by the Numbers, your children's guide to numerology. And that is a book that I, I suggest that parents of little babies, brand new, we should buy. Analyze your child's numbers, see the gifts they're born with so that you can guide them in their, in their path to success. And the last book is a book on double digits because I actually, I analyzed through double digits before we reduce it to a single digit because what makes me different from you is really a double digit in a life path number and a double digit in my name. And so my last book is Double Digits, Your Guide to Numerology and the Power of the Double Digit Numbers. And I'll give you an example. My name's full expression is that of a 51. And that is the number of the verbal warrior. A 51 is a warrior. So here as a litigator, you could see that's what I do with my life. So once again, thank you for coming. Thank you for sharing your time with me. I look forward to seeing you very soon. Have a great day. Bye now.